Hello friends and welcome back to my backyard garden. If you've been here before, I appreciate you coming back to hang out with me. Um, and if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Um, I guess maybe you need to see what I'm doing before you know if you want to subscribe. Today is March 3rd, Sunday, March 3rd, and it's, as you can see, a beautiful sunny day, and we are done, I think, with freezes. I live in zone 9A in Houston, Texas, actually Cypress, Texas, which is a suburb of Houston, northwest of Houston. Um, a lot of people's zones change this, um, this year in the Houston area, so Houston is now split between zone 9A and 9B, but I think we're done with freezes. <laughs> I'm just crossing the door. I think we're done with freezes. So I want to get some of my transplants out because as you can see, like these are some, this is a chocolate bell and a sweet banana pepper. And you can see right here, can you see that something has been chewing on it? So I've been hardening these off outside for quite some time. I had some really good um, germination on all my plants. So I'm going to get out here today and try to at least get my Roma tomatoes out. The reason I'm focusing on those today is because I'm trying to do more companion planting and more interplanting and the tomatoes always have hornworms. Well, I learned that if you till the soil where the tomatoes are going, you might be able to find um, pupa that was in the soil. So that's what I'm doing. Um, only that because I know I'm not going to get to the rest of this stuff today. I might get one. I have a shishito pepper over there and I might get that planted. Right here, I don't know if you can see this, but I have a ton of marigold. Basically, when we had the freeze, that last freeze, I just took a seed head that had died and just crumbled it all over the place, all over the garden, because I knew that I was going to want to use marigolds everywhere to help deter pests. So this is one of the spaces where I just crumbled a whole bunch of them. You can see they're all over the place. And I have some tomatillos also in this um, self-watering planter. So I already took some of these, um, I have three romas to plant. So I'm gonna plant, and I'm gonna plant them in a pot because they're indeterminate. I'm sorry, they're determinate, so they won't grow so big. So I'm gonna try to do three in a pot, just in case one doesn't make it or something. They did really well for me last year, so we're gonna see how this goes this year. And I'm gonna do three marigolds. I'm gonna space them like a tomato, a marigold, a tomato, a marigold, a tomato, a marigold. And I'll show you that in just a second. But these <laughs> marigolds are already starting to flower. And that looks like, is that? No, that's part of the flower. Okay, thought it was a bug. <laughs> I was about to say, like, already? Why do I have bugs already? Anyway, and plus the marigold is supposed to deter the bugs. So anyway, it's not a bug. <laughs> it's part of the plant. Um, so even though these are all going already, it's not really a big deal to pull them up. I literally just kind of dug around them a little bit. Let's see, I'll do this one right here. I just kind of dug around it a little bit, tried not to disturb the roots too much, and just pulled it right out. I'm going to put this one back in here because I don't have any place for it to go. And there's my little marigold transplant. Not really rocket science. Um, I'm trying to teach myself not to like uh, overthink things too much because I've done that in the past and it hurt me like, I didn't have as many as much as much yield on my veggies because it's thinking too much. Don't, sometimes you don't need to think. Just do. Speaking of, let's go over here and plant these Roma tomatoes with the marigolds. Okay, I'm hoping that you can see this. I've already potted up the marigolds one, two, and three, um, and they're looking sad right now, of course, because they're going to need a good drink. Also, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I want to take full advantage of that. Um, God's living water is the best water, so really want to make sure that, you know, anything that I want to get out, whatever I can get out of it. And a little bit of time to get out and soothe my soul in the garden. Um, last year, I used this pot to grow some Campari tomatoes, literally with seed from grocery store tomatoes. Actually, that's how I started the Romans as well. Um, and they grew really well in this pot, but I did have, I found one hornworm, which where there's one, <laughs> there could be plenty. So what I really wanted to do, 
I do no till in the rest of the garden. Um, but in pots, I don't mind tilling the soil. So that's what I wanted to be able to do with my Romas this year. Since they had a few hornworms last year, but they still did really, really well. I wanted to be able to dig in here three or four inches just to see if there was any signs of the hornworm overwintering in the soil. And I don't see anything. Um, so that's great news. Here we go. These are my romas. And y'all have probably seen people plant tomatoes a million times. I'm going to dig a little bit of a hole. Normally I wouldn't dig a hole. I just would like kind of sit it in there because you want it to be most plants. You want them to be at the same level that they were in the container. Not this one. This one you want to bury down. As deep as you can. So instead of burying it at the same level that it is in my starter cell, I'm going to bury it up to the second set of leaves, or the first set of leaves. I've already taken off the first set. I'm going to bury it up to about there. Now once I get that done, these are already really moist, but because I'm giving them a totally new environment, they're going to need a ton of water. No fertilizer. I don't usually, I don't know, this year I may do something different with the fertilizer, but I don't usually fertilize. Um, I don't know why. I just never have. And everything has grown just fine. I use compost from my backyard bin, and that's it, basically. This year I may try some of the things that people are always talking about. By the way. These Roma tomatoes, like I said, were from grocery store tomatoes. And when they grew really well last year, I saved some of my own seeds. And then um, those are what I'm using for this year. So this year, I might try a little bit of um, fertilizer and see how it goes. I'm really scared because I don't want to burn my plants, number one. And <laughs> number two, I'm really notorious for giving things too much of what things, too much of what they need. Like too much water, a little bit too much love. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to leave things alone. And like I said, last year, everything did really, really well without fertilizing. So. I don't know. I'll consider it, maybe do an experiment and see how it goes. But that's pretty much it. That's my, let's see if I can show you up close. And there you go. That's my Roma tomatoes and my marigolds together. And if I end up needing to thin anything out, I will come back and do that later on. But I would rather have too much than too little planted. Um, still put a stake in here because the romas, even though they're determinate, they're only going to grow so tall and then they'll, they'll stop and just produce what they're going to produce, all, you know, pretty much all at once. They still get pretty tall. So they're going to need some, some support at least. So that's it for this particular planter. I'm going to keep it on this side because I'm rotating my crops. Um, I'm trying to anyway, which is why. I expanded the garden a little bit. Um, so over here, like in this actual bed, I'm going to put some cucumbers, some nasturtium, and some strawberries on the very end. So that's pretty much it for today. Um, I'm going to see if I can get my shishito pepper in the ground. And that'll be it for me today. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, if you have something specific that you want to see, in the garden, in the kitchen, 
in terms of the tarot year design, please let me know. I do have some things planned. Um, this time of year is kind of, well, it's been kind of slow in the garden because spring's not quite in full swing and we haven't been able to um, do much out here because I don't want to plant out too early. So I'm very happy to have been able to come out and talk to y'all about companion planting and no-till versus till a little bit, <laughs> no-till versus till. And um, just visit with y'all. Happy to have been able to do that. But if there's something specific that you want to see discussed, hear discussed over here on my channel, just let me know. It could be about anything as long as it's all things home. Till next time, you guys, like this video, please, if you like this video. And if you like it, share with your friends as well. Also, consider subscribing so that you never miss another video. All right, you guys. Till next time. Bye.